Oh, Central Protocol. Oh boy, this map. Terrence played pretty nicely on this map. It's pretty terrible for Protoss. Uh, I think uh, that's the thing. Ther Euthermal is one of the first star like professional StarCraft players that I've ever m I met. Ever. I saw him during the Gamescom final qualifiers, actually, at, uh, in Cologne. Actually, just having fun uh, up there. Hello, Kira. Tefl just got eliminated. Rest in Pepperinos. But... Uh, yeah, spawning it on the uh, well actually this is pretty darn cool this is cross spawn uh, horizontal cross spawn it is youth thermal the Terran Inred and on the other side of the cross spawns it is the champ himself Root Hydra but Tefl got erect and that is really not good unless you try to write erect with, in a different way in which case you don't say erect and we'll just keep it at that so uh, should probably go for the wall off here first there you go oh double racks Woo. is he gonna use this for wall off or go for reaper cheese ah he goes for the oh he fully saturates the gas does he go for another one? Oh boy oh boy yeah, I think it's happening there you go. Oh, Billy. We're going to see Third Axe Reaper. <laughs> hey. Let me go. By the way, guys, there's a three minute delay. Um, so, you know, start that. However. Um, we do have to abide by the laws that are put down by the great gods at ESL. So he's got to, he's got to try and find Euthermal first, and he's sending that Overlord. He's gonna send that Overlord all the way. He's just gonna try to spot, but uh, he's not gonna spot anything before. There you go. He's already sending the links. Oh, they're going across the map. No, is he rallying? I I always forgot to put the game hard. Uh, UI on. But the Reapers are going up. What's he gonna have? So he's gonna have one queen. And this map is so, so good. There you go. He already The Reaper already comes up the first one, obviously. And more Reapers should be coming in. So he moves back here to make sure that there is nothing really to try and contest. That's the only the links. This is a full wall off. If I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Really weird, these kinds of things. So here we go. Reaper cheese is about to happen. And first grenade puts that queen back. And second one is going to pop as well. But roaches get out. And roaches are a perfect counter to Reaper cheese. As soon as he saw that first Reaper, he goes, alright. If he's going Reaper, usually usually turns like to fully commit. And already, with one draw, he just takes them down. Oh, this is a perfect counter. Like, all right, you want, you know what, you want to go for four x for three x um, Reaper. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna have Roaches, which are the exact counter to your build. So rest of Pepper Roos. All right. Warlords are in pretty good position here to keep uh, keep track of the Reapers. Now remember, this is a best of five. So, you know, hey, you lose one out, it's no problem. It's not the GSL. But there is 300 euros on the line. So Hydra going in for some cash to keep him alive for the next couple of weeks. It's really, really good. 300 euros is basically groceries for an entire month. Oh, he goes in. Oh, perfect mind placement for the second one here. He's going to try to pull back. And Marine, Marines and Stim are coming in as well as extra bio labs. And at this point, he wants to keep the Reapers in this spot. So, so that Hydra doesn't just go across the map and win. He's got to delay it here to have, you know, as many of these Marines as possible. Marines are not that good versus, you know, the, the armor that the uh, Roaches and Ravagers have. But, pretty good in mass. And with no masses yet, are not going to be that effective. As well as a factory. So, factory standard going to go into tank production. Do not lose these. These Reapers are literally all you have here in Thermal. 
No, the Reaper. I really like the follow cam. Oh, it goes in for the... Oh, snipes the drone! Really good control from you, Thermal. Nice man. Don't lose him! Oh, he snipes off one Ravager, two Ravagers, and he actually forces the vial to hit three Ravagers down and the dr Oh my god, you Thermal, are you kidding me? He's gotta pick off these two as well. Oh my god, another one. And he keeps four of the original Reapers. Oi, yo, yo, this is so good. His timing on the grenades is so good. And finally, Hydra is gonna take that third base. So he delays that third so much. But it's able to pop up all in the damn marines. Stem is about to be done. So pretty good timing on that. Overseer is going to run in and you know, find out what's going on. I go for the, uh, uh, the tech lab. Oh, kill off the creep. Very, very important here. Denying the creep. Oh, and another fresh one is going to go down. Now there's Marines in play. This Overlord here. Oh, it's going to supply block Hydra. You Thermal. This is so good. And he times it so well. He's going to force the uh, the uh, Roaches to go right on this and should be able to cancel that third base. Wow, you Thermal. Very, very good. Yeah, three racks uh, Reaper Cheese. If he went in the four, that would have been, you know, RIP for him. But it's control the Reapers. He can just use them to zone off all of these roaches. But the Marines forcing up with the stem here should get pushed back. Pretty darn good from Hydra. But he's still stuck on two bases. And he's oversaturating everything. He's just taken all of the uh, the gases to get as many roaches and ravagers out. But on the other side, this is starting to stabilize. And we do go into the mid game. So a bunker position uh, here to, to hold off. We're gonna see double depots obviously to hold it triple one third one should come in right here and unless this is a full wall i don't really think so no there you go picks off the overseer running inside of the base this should stabilize but you know hydra is still supply blocked and your thermal still has a pretty decent standing army now 108 supply that's basically all in roaches which eat up a lot of supply first no neo steel on uh, on the bunkers i really like nathaniel's uh, you know uh, opinion of having all you know, each bunker being upgraded separately but a very nice drop in the base caught up by number one observer in the world obviously after apollo kappa move all the way back there's no anti-air to deny any sort of drop and he's still on two bases to remember that third has not been taken and we're still moving along here once to force anyone away and I know Hydra finally able to, to do something in this here. You Thermal really putting up a pretty good fight. Another drop in the natural, but will get will get cleaned up, at least pushed back. It's so cool. Reminds me of um, Sons of Solar Empire, but a very nice uh, drop in the main. It's gonna give him a few kills. Oh, to get the queen, that could be so good. Did he deny the oh he didn't deny the inject? But still survives with everything. No anti air as all the queens have gone down. He's researching Burrow. Very, very good research to keep here. It forces the scans and realizes alright, you only have two bases. You basically need these two bases with the orbitals to drop mules and maybe get a scan every now and then. But if I go for Burrow, I can regen. I can dive underneath of your tanks. Now I can still stay alive. And if you want to take him out, you know what? Use waste the scan. So any sort of attack that I do in your main base. It's all done and done for you. Uh, Ravagers is going to try and eyeball the corrosive vials. It's very difficult. Try and get those out. Oh, uh, won't hit. It's going to go down. Put off another roach. Your thermal has just been on top of this micro. And now he just moves up with so many marine stay slots. There you go. He scans makes sure. Oh, he can pick off the Ravagers. Oh, this can be so good. They're all pulled away from the army. Uh, there we go. Tanks being landed behind. They're very good position for the tanks. And they can just hammer away. Pretty much containing all that Hydra can really try to do. Uh, no. Oh, there you go. See Liberators. So the Liberators would be the nail in the coffin if used correctly. Uh, the plus one armor coming up as well. He picks off the Queen. And now he goes in. He's going to try to use Corrosive Bile to push 
the thermal away, but there are so many tanks in the back. Hydra, if he force pushes into this, he loses so many roaches. Basically perfectly countered here. He stims again and he moves up and so many roaches are going down. And the thermal with very, very good control. Oh, a lot of the biles coming down on the medevacs there. A bit of miscontrol. But this entire army should get cleaned up and GG well played. The thermal takes 1-0 and uh, takes the first uh, map up in lead. So that's the thing. This is map one and it's a Terran favored map. So we'll see how that goes along. It's really, really good. Top class APM, of course. Can't beat them turns. Alright. Getting ready for map number two. It's gonna be on Dusk Towers. Alright. So, uh, this is a Zerg favored map to some extent. Uh, if you can get good creep spread, this can work out really, really well. But the amount of times that I've seen TVZ going into late, 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 late game. On this, especially in ladder games, especially with Nathanius. It's just way too many. Even with Sasha, you see um, Scarlet streaming of these days now, and you see this map can really go so, so long. And of course, spawning in on top of the map here on Dust Towers, up one point actually after the victory in Central Protocol, it is AT Gaming's U Thermal. <laughs> Sorry for that. Of course, on the lower hand side, it is a root hydra. I'm starting to really like this. I don't think there's a single game that I enjoy casting or just observing as much as StarCraft. I don't know why, but it's just so beautiful to see. I'm basically coming from the guy that spends uh, you know, till 3, 4 a.m. watching old highlights of old StarCraft tournaments for no freaking reason. So, opener coming in with the gas, so we should be, should see Reapers, of course, the um, the uh, expansion, the natural being taken, getting ready to go for the pool, so that's very good position here to block off any sort of retreating Reaper or, or any sort of Hellions that are being dropped back, as your Sim City is a bit important in these kinds of situations, Hydra, it does have that in mind, it's gonna have a bit of gas to play around with to get the uh the lynx spf wants to go for that which is usually what people go for because this is one of the maps where uh reapers are pretty much standard for terran and terran reserve especially um not only that but you know after that you might just see a pop into liberators to siege up your mineral lines uh the the uh the terran has quite a few avenues to go through on a map like this and now some people might say, oh, but Master really care, but, you know, they already matter in StarCraft 2 Millet. Now, even coming from a guy that's literally bronze and literally unranked in this season and in the two before that, uh, you know, it's, you know, you're, it's, it's pretty important when you have, you know, uh, this much airspace to play with. You shoot down and, you know, just a syringe from above with your Liberators. Goddamn fair. There we go. Going up for Marines. And there is the Reaper. Yeah, here we go. I push the Queen away. Very good Reaper control from your Thermal like you Sun and first map on Central Protocol. No, push it away. I mean, I don't know if the, this is like. Is this top part here like the Queen's hat like a hat it's like multiple bits of, of a turban or something the queen is a really really weird unit i don't know why Ugh. nope pocket expansion taken this is one of the cooler maps because you have the pocket expansion which means you probably will get 
you know, a game, if not, if it's not a complete out cheese, it can go pretty easily into, you know, at least mid game. Oh, very good surround from Hydra. Take down the, uh, the early Reapers there and really saving his uh, drone at the last second. I'm going to take down the Overlord. Going in for the Scout Overlord. Speed is done. Pretty much no reason to not go for it. Gonna be set in a spot where it can be shot. Can go in, maybe try. Oh, 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 oh. So it's open a fire. You can't lose that. It's already supply block. The thermal really, really good at just sniping the overlords. Wanna go for anything? Did he spot that though? I really don't think so. The Hellions are gonna go in for some more harass. Does he go for extra Hellions? No, he's going in for. Not extra production. I can't actually see. No extra production. All right. So double double eBay coming in. So that's uh, definitely hundred percent that we won't be seeing any anyone trying to make it happen here. It's your thermal. Let's spread around with the Hellions that are really just cool buggies. I wish Hellions were as good as uh, the buggies in the rocket buggies and the GLA and Commander Conquer Generals. So there's those things. A couple of upgrades were stupid OP. Just rush for those and win. Sure, Apollo can give us a few lessons on the build orders of such a thing. Uh, Hellion, oh, it's just gonna try and run away. Can't even turn back. No, oh, pedal to the metal. Both of them should go down here. Oh, we can go for the surround on the second one. There you go. So all the Marines in the back. Oh, he saves that literal guns. And you're pausing. Three bases, very good creep spread. Five and a half minutes, this is pretty damn good. He should be able to spread it all the way up here in the middle of the map. Basically deny any sort of tank lines that he would like to play here with uh, Euthermal. But Euthermal on three bases, he's feeling pretty happy. The fourth base pickup should come in pretty soon from Hydra. He's going for a Bailing Nest and a Spire. Alright, so the Spire just went down. There are you. There you go. So the Spire just went down. It's going to go for Mutalis. Mutalis, of course, very, very good at denying any drops that the Thermal would like to build for. This, at least for now, he's not really going for any of those. Just keeping all the units in base. Uh, going for medevac production, finally. There you go. Speaking of drops. Don't leave me behind. He leaves one Marine back. Oh, my God. Just go back and pick it up. Oh, my God. You left me home. It's fine, because the, if these if these two die, oh there we go. You realize, oh we left another one. We should just go home and pick it up. Basically, what I would have done. Uh, the zergling barely misses that drop here, and it's gonna come in deny the fourth base. Oh, so many zerglings! Going for the surround, perfect pickup though. But he did, does deny the third base. Was that canceled? Yes, it was. I'm out of minerals. That Hydra Scott is trying to play the advantage game here, but it's pretty open. He can go for the surround. Usually, I mean, you try to play by the mineral patches so it can really help you out on the fence, but no losses at all. Except for the broken heart of the one Marine that was left the base. Call Just call him Jeff. Jeff's not really too happy. Widow Mines coming up. Those deal pretty well. Mutalisks. Speaking of Mutalisks, eight are about to pop, but one one. Uh, actually, that's 2-2 that's two, two with level 1 um, uh, armor for for your um, your vehicles is coming in. It's going to scan, try to clean up a bit of the creep. It's pretty good creep spread. You can't really push up too much into this. Does he have banelings? Yes, he's got those, but the creep's starting to you know, fade away. It does have bailing speed, so that's pretty good for him. He can try and run through. Um, just have an overseer, yes, he does. So that widow mine should get picked off. 
Oh, the hit! Why? Hydra, please, throw us. I really look at out a bit of damage done to all the mutas. It's gonna push them back for just a sec. Bailings are coming in, connecting with only one marine. Pretty terrible ones there, but more and more creep has been picked off, and that is a run by in the main. He's gonna pick off the mine. No, oh, shot comes in and just kills some uh, lings in the back. So this first one has been defended. And once they pull away the remainder of the links here, more creep being handled. Very, very good uh, plays from your thermal is being able to micro between both armies. But, you know, a bit of damage done here. A few SCVs lost. The Bane links are going to get picked off. Pretty good. Cancelled on here. Is that a drop? No, ah, no, no, no. That was just your lord being pulled away. So he scans the army at the perfect timing. I realize this. Alright, so... If I, uh, if I was Hydra right now, what would I do? I'd probably just try to push. Hydra did finally take that fourth base. It did take quite some time. I, you know, there's a big reason why Zergs don't take, or anybody really takes this as a fourth base, especially Hydra. Uh, because you tend to get harassed so much by drops and from the top side. But Metamax being lost. One, two, go already going down. The water is eating a lot of the bailing shots. The bailing is just rolling, rolling, rolling. We'll be able to hit it here in CG while well played Hydra, just too much of Hydra. And usually it's a pretty good thing to have. Uh, is, can you really have too much of Hydra? Hmm. It's gonna go up one point. Pretty solid play. go they so got the invite let's go really too much of hydra it's pretty darn good all right so we all got invited let's get ready to go it's up again again it's all rena oh boy Pretty darn good Zerg map. Yes. Alright, so the series here tied up 101. Alright, so spawning in on the top side of Arena, our third map in this best of five series, it is AT Gaming's Youth Thermal. And on the south side, of course, our Blue Zerg the Champ. I won't go into it again, but he's literally John Cena. It's Root Hydra. Boy, this music's so good. I would shut up and listen to this. This music is so good. If anything, StarCraft has some of the best video game music ever. I still like the Brood War uh, or the StarCraft 1 Terran. Or the Terran 1 theme. It's pretty, really good. And then it goes all doomy and gloomy, and then I don't like it anymore. Alright, so Hydra goes in with the Scout the Overlord. Spots the second base coming up at the natural. 
Um, the thermal's gonna fall off, pretty standard. More overlords gonna be put in position here. We're good for the start to see what kind of opener. He realizes there won't. Oh, there we go. He's gonna see the Reaper popping out. No. Oh, he did not spot the Reaper. There you go. Spots it with the second one. He's gonna keep moving along. And the Reaper will start to work on the Hatcher. Of course, that will take you about 37 years to destroy. There we go, pulling the lings away. Uh, almost six down one. Oh, the grenade is reloaded. You can still time it. Euthermal has some very, very good timing on that grenade. Oh, gonna push them away. Tilt, tilt it. Oh, drop. Yes. I really like watching Terran Micro, especially early game. There you go. Picks up the second base. Put up here is gonna put down a uh, bunker, pretty safe play, making sure that you know, there won't be any ling all in, there won't be any uh, play with the roaches. As really Hydra has shown that he's really not afraid to pick up the roaches pretty quickly, go into those and roach Hydra, er, roach Hydra, still stuck in Heart of the Swarm, but roach Ravager timings are pretty commonplace. And we saw Tefl losing the stuff like that previously that reaper throw it away without everything that a god has given him or anything that he might or might not believe in trying to go over the cancel on the third base oh if he gets the drone no he didn't even get the cancel on the base ah oh, the reaper goes down for no reason try to get greedy here and get some extra shots on the drone but it is indeed an extra base for hydra Alright, so supply box Hydra yet again. It gets up a spore flower. So you see the amount of the amount of bio that was there that was firing at him. He's like, alright, so he lost the Reaper. He's probably going to go for an extra attack. And the Overlord spot here will make sure that that is exactly what's going on. Lings are going back to the base. Going in for fire on the widow mine, and oh my god, there we go! Singles it out. Should be some sort of, Oh, he he picked off everything. Oh my god, five. Oh, there's four marines going down, and the widow mine picked off for basically only two links. That's terrible. Terrible play. But you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> That's the thing. Drops on this map so difficult to execute, especially how Hydra really calmly collected all of this, brought the two queens immediately, and as soon as he got the confirmation and second overlord, there were already the, the links streaming on in. He's gonna destroy the rocks here down in the middle, so but taking the third base, having the uh, third drop, and even though there's the funnel here, usually you should be able to see it you all know, like. Tanks being put up, maybe a supply depot block, or something, because um, right now, Hydra's definitely in command of the game. Uh, Bio should get brought up. Medevac. Maybe Medevacs. Uh, there might be. Is, where is this going? Alright, so he's gonna go for Medevac production. There we go. Double Medevac production. Tank on the low ground, it's got the bunker, SCVs. Uh, SCVs, basically you want to have the SCVs come around from this side, because from here they'll get hit and they soak up so much damage, you just die before you get into the bunker. Now that's not talking as an expert, by the way, that's talking as just someone that's looking at the position itself, which I rarely get to see in this point of view. Uh, Alright, so I'm not too sure about this position, if they're more. But it can't hit anything that pushes through on here. But that's basically it. There you go. So he's gonna put down some creep to make sure that third base won't be taken. Uh, does he have a third constructed? There's no third CC. Oh my god. He doesn't even have stim and combat shield. Gonna have to wait just a bit. And if Hydra just surrounds this army, he can basically end it all here. 
He needs the combat shield, so he won't be able to take much for it. He gets the stim, but he realizes, all right, there's no combat shields on them. They're so, so weak, and there's only one Marauder in this entire play. This, this is just missed time. Two tanks in the back blocking things off. One's going to go down after a few hits, but still with just the sheer amount of tank fire in the back. We'll be able to clean up uh, at least most of this road's ravage before. Still links in the back. Uh, he's not going to try to push them up. Of course, he does realize that, all right, he's going to have this whole Trump wall coming up. So we must build a wall and just don't want to go for that. Corrosive file hitting the friendly uh, roaches there. One tank being microed back, the second one as well. And they're going to open fire on the roaches and the queens at the same time. Gets an extra shot. There we go. Cleans. Uh, gets the pickup, clean sweep on there, and gets on moving. One marine falling, uh, but there are marauders and marines waiting on the other side. And this is the time to go for it. Hydra with a few links in the back, more than enough. And Hydra uh, will get the extra point here to go up two to one. Basically, the links that he had in the back was all that he needed. If he didn't have links in the back, it would have been just GG. But he had three bases, it was going up to four, Euthermo was basically committed on a two base play, when Broach Hydra was just too much for him. So, an eight minute, five second victory for, for Hydra. So if we get the invite. <laughs> oh boy. Nathanius got a game cap card from From Gazor. Thank you, Dank Beamer, the thermal. Alright, let's get the show on the road. It's 2 to 1 up for the Hydra. As we go in for an extra match. TVZ on Prion Terraces and you know, this map, after the changes that happened to the second base for Natural becoming a gold base, it's become a lot more interesting where, all right, Zerg before is basically, oh, I will go for the uh, expansion down below, and then I'll go for the extra gold base. Basically the same thing, but you take the expansion below. And the only pr people that were able to, to really stop it were people that invested so much into drops like Pult. And other than that, it was so difficult to do it. But prayer introductions, of course, as a tradition, it's putting it on the lower hand side of uh, Prion Terraces. It is the return of U Thermal from AT Gaming. And the top side going in for the drone ups. And now, gas. Nope. It is, of course, the champ, le champion lui même, leading this two to one. It is Root Hydra. So, spawning pool coming in. He doesn't want to go for the expansion just yet. And, you know, Thermal's wondering, like, oh, where is this expansion? Three gun on the white points. Go. Goes in for A move. Of course, A moving your drones. Pretty smart thing to do. The Thermal realizes that, you know, I want to hold this back. Oh boy, he's going to go for the three racks. Time for Reaper Cheese. Either the cheese saves him or it's all Ogre. Ba this is actually extremely smart. Because he saw, alright, he didn't take the second base. It's so, so delayed. I'm Terran. I can drop mules. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to keep going with these with these Reapers. And I'll try to harass. And this is actually a really, really good counter. However, you're playing against the one and only Hydra. So, how will this go along? I think one of the, the coolest builds the coolest games i've seen on this was uh was it i don't remember Ooh. but it was during dreamhack leipzig 
where there was a um, a ghost rush versus in TVP. That was so so good. I don't remember who did it though, um, but it was so good the way that it was all orchestrated. The Reaper is gonna get spotted, but he still has no idea that it's three racks, and he cleans up both links. Second base is just about to end. All right, so you know there is a bunker here, so this is probably a an all-in of some sorts, and the Reaper's coming in. He's just waiting for the second one. Nice uh, car in the back. Still has a bunker, so. With the bunker, he still has high ground vision, but he can't lose the second Reaper. This is so close. Didn't cancel the uh, the bunker, so... Merrill's are very, very important for your thermal if he wants to go for this or actually try and transition into, uh, you know, normal Marines. But there's so much uh, of that Zerg Bioforce. The Reapers are some of the coolest units in Starcraft 2, if you ask me. I'm going for the shots. Oh, he's trying to drop up top, and there's only one link to try and do some damage, and he's down. And he can escape from the other side here, drop down into the terrace of Prime Terraces, and just fall back. But this is the thing now. Roaches are a big possibility very, very soon. Said so it's the second base is saturated. No, we should see roaches coming up. So, your thermal going in for a... Is that yes? He's gonna go for a um, for pretty much a strong wall defense here, putting in the uh, the eBay on the third base, so there won't be any extra gold. eBay's tank a lot of damage. Here, are the fights between the Lings and the Reapers is so so bad for the Ling exchange. The Queen is gonna get picked off. Yes, it will. More are popping up. You can get three. Uh, three uh, grenades right on top of the eggs. Not for the eggs, just kill them with three grenades. But it kills the actual um, the larva and three grenades. Oh, but he forced himself back. He's got a play. Oh, this is perfect positioning from the pool. But there's just not enough here to stop the uh, the Reapers. Oh, they get away with just barely any space. And Hydra's got to be furious right now. There are still five on the board with three en route. These. Uh, these Reapers have already done so much damage, and Hydra is down a lot on supply. Actually, just a couple of bits here, but they're going to get cleaned up here eventually, and the Reapers all go down, but a smooth transition, basically, from your Thermal means that he's going to have that second base up. He's got to be miling from the gold, and basically, Hydra is just going to have to go across the map and try to hold this, uh, this one off. There's no bunker on the high ground to try and help, and there won't be one anytime soon. Oh, there we go. He's got to be rallied above, and basically, Reaper's pretty darn good at holding off versus just pure Ling. Gonna chew on the barracks all you want. We won't really be doing much, and everything's going to get cleaned up. They're trying to take this uh, this eBay down, but it's so, so difficult. What will be the transition, though, if uh, this is a champion? He still has not gotten that third base up. There we go. He finally puts it down. And there's still an SCV in the back. Is that the same SCV that built the eBay? Uh, you know, these these Reapers, I mean, it's it's not their... Their time is not out up just yet. They can still go in and harass and kill those two queens. Oh, boy. No. Is he going to go for it? Oh, if he would have... If he would have known, he could have just gone for those two queens. It would have been a huge, 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 huge pickup. There's nothing at base to defend. I mean, all of the marines are going to be rallied up. The supply depot. At this point, bailing nest going down. You can't just go for a... Uh, basically, for just uh, a bailing bust. But the amount of damage being done at, uh, at the main base. What really can he do? Oh my god, the amount of links are coming in! Oh, pull some back. Those grenades. The grenade timing is so, so important. But basically, Hydra knows. If he takes down as much of these Reapers as possible, then this is done, done deal, and he wins it all up. Uh, more of these links are being rallied at the front. As the Queen will get picked off. There we go. More links coming in. A perfect time. Scan from your thermal. Still is microing his heart out here with the Reapers. Second base taken. And the assault will begin on the other side. Bailing bust. Comes in and the Marines have to be perfectly microed here. First Marine is going to get taken down. A huge clump of them. A very good split from Euthermal. Take down as many of them as possible. But there's no 
uh, combat shield. There's no stim. It's gonna take down the uh, the lings and basically, lings uh, are still alive. He pulls back his reapers, and we can just sit back here. He's gotta have to build this. Oh, go, go, go! Oh, he takes out so many with those beautiful hits, and the reapers are still done. GG, well played, you thermal goes all the way and brings it back. He's gonna go into map number five. Holy balls! That was such a good game. Tyron! Oh my god, that was so good. Holy crap. That's so good. Oh my god, the micro. There you go. So far, holy crap, this series has been so good. To go this far, I have to say, it's pretty fun. It's it's rare to see games that are this fun. But, I, you know, one of my favorite plays, and one of my favorite matchups is TVZ. But PVZ definitely is my favorite one. I don't know why, but it's so cool. Really? You can do... Oh my god, you can press control 1 and you can sit- what? Oh my god, you can click use control- wow! Alright, so uh, enough of that. There we go. So, this is vertical spawns. I didn't fuck this one up here, Dunks. Vertical spawns on Laralac Crest. It's a 2-2 two, two and a best of 5. The grand final of the ESL Go For Starcraft 2 March monthly final. 300 euros for the winner of this match here and spawning in the top side it is our red tear and the one and only at gaming's youth thermal in the lower hand side of the map the zerg el campeon himself our blue zerg it's root gaming's hydra god it's so good to do these intros I fucking love starcraft too all right now that aside, even though I am a pretty terrible player at this game, I really do like uh, watching these kinds of things, and well, casting is definitely a pretty fun thing, you know. Usually it's like, oh, I only have to add this to my 800 hours of casting anything in between Battlefield and, uh, you know, Battlefield and Counter-Strike and a bit of Call of Duty every now and then, so that's about a thousand hours in total. So now I get to enjoy a bit of StarCraft 2, my favorite game ever made to watch. Uh, it's just so fun between players that are at the level of your thermal and Hydra. Of course, this is online. Uh, offline, Hydra would have probably just ended this ages ago. However, your thermal, your thermal is micro, especially with the Reapers. It's been so, so good. I mean, Central Portal Call, in you know, our previous map, so good. Hydra's just winning by outplaying sometimes, just having uh, the unit positioning um, like we saw on Dusk Towers with the, the link in the back. So, your thermal going in for standard expansion. Ling speed is gonna come up. Two base for everybody. You get a base, and you get a base, and everybody gets a base. I really like the line of sight blockers. That's for sure. I like how they experimented with those not too long ago. Reaper is gonna get um, spotted here. Queen is gonna get, take some damage. And this already should be revealed. There we go. He scouts down below, realizes there's nothing there. He's got it up. So now it is confirmed that your thermal is on this side of the map. Hydra already um, no, basically just spotted this. So I was going to go for the SCV. Don't lose it. Micro, you're hot away. I can already imagine the guy inside of the robots just like, no, get away. Oh, there we go. Everybody killed. 
I'm gonna go in for the finalization of that bill. The Reaper. Don't lose it. The Reaper. There we go. Trying to play his heart out here. Your thermal running away. 1v1 Ling V Reaper. And here we go. The kill's gonna happen with the dual shotguns. Pa pow! And this should all be driven off. Pretty good. And this is a map that we've seen a lot of Nidus play on. Uh, it's a pretty good map for that, that's for sure. Alright, he's gonna build the trump wall down below here. Uh, so he can safely take that third that's protected by the rocks. And the third base is gonna be taken by Hydra, so this should be moving into the mid game pretty nicely. Your thermal comes in, it's like, alright, I thought you I saw your third base. I know what's going on here. Don't try to trick me, Hydra. I know what you're doing. I'm going for a bit of a harass. Can't just try and hide. You're not a drone, Mr. Reaper. That'll go down. Bunker being built on the low ground. Spore. Back in the, uh, in the natural expansion. Third big taken by ther Euthermal. It's pretty good though. Euthermal has to catch up on production. He's uh, starting to spread himself a bit too thin, but the tank is now picked up. Of course, the Dankavax, the Medanks. Tankavax. I mean, some people call it Tankavax. I call it Medanks. I, I have to agree with uh, Artosis on that one. Definitely Medanks. Go. Yeah. He's gonna go in for some creep clear. And really, in this kind of position, a creep can really do get out of control. Take convertive damage on. The medevac needs to save it. Yeah, drop anywhere. He's got links right below. <laughs> this is basically like the floor is lava. Take some shots here, there we go. Set a few, boom! All dead. One more remains, so low on health. More lanes though coming along. Remember back in the olden days in early Legacy of the Void in the beta where basically there was no delay in between you landing the tank and it firing. So basically, you could win the entire game versus Zerg just by playing, oh, oh don't lose the meta back! Basically what you could do is play everything off of one tank and a medevac and win the game. Basically. It's it's sort of like playing Brood War style tanks or just pick them up with the with the dropships. And just go across the map, land them in siege and there's so much range for these tanks back in them days. All that fog. Lucky luck. Even on medium settings, uh, this looks pretty darn good. This this game, of course, it's all about the frames. You can't see it, but I'm keeping a ho above 120 frames, which is really really good. Because spectator, it's pretty difficult to to have pretty good frame rates. Over 100 most of the time. Sometimes drops when I'm moving too fast, but there's a lot of activity. You know, creep seems to be pretty darn well optimized. So he's gonna spot here as he goes in for the drop at the same time. So many roaches in the back though. He's gonna be able to pick off a few of the drones and then pull all the way back with the uh, Metavax, no Medanks. And this creep spread is starting to get out of control. So usually, oh, he's gonna go for a drop of this one. It's the fourth base coming in from Hydra. There are combat shields. So combat shields are pretty close to being done. Is gonna go and clear up so much of these uh, tumors. Hopefully, I'm not screwing up this cast too much. So many roaches. Basically, Hydra has 137 supply, but it's basically all roach at this time. Now, they can deal pretty well with the Marines, though. This has got 41 Marines, two mo Widow Mines, but no tanks. 
as the only one was picked off. It's got two Ravagers morphing. 22 roaches are already eating up so much of that supply. The fourth base is going to get uh, you know, spotted. However, drop that's get cleaned up at the back of the base. With a mine, though. There you go. He's got the Overseer. So many eyes. Why does he have an eye on his back? So he's got an eye in the back, an eye in the front, and two up top here, and two on the side. This is so weird. Where's the realism, Blizzard? Well, please fix your game. Not that kind of guy. Alright, should be able to pick off these two queens for free. Clean up a lot of that creep. Pretty good uh, cleaning move here. But there's only two tanks, so... The two tanks have to be played so well, and oh boy, the fungal growth. There's so much energy right now as he as Hydra goes in for the full splits. They can get a cool fungal on uh, these. Uh, oh, there we go, fungal of the year. More and more heroes of bile, but he's, he's being sandwiched on both sides. He needs to get those tanks up, and liberators are being put in. They have to siege down here, take on the overseer. There we go, and everything's gonna pick, get picked off. Hydra is running all the way back and Liberation Zones are being put in right by the ramp and the rotate from that second base. Roach Warren is going to go down and this might spell GG as now the GG scan comes in, goes in for the attack on that second base. Spots the Ravagers in the back. He's got to use those mineral lines to try and survive with them. More Roaches being picked off. The Liberators just cleaning house and there's still one tank in the back. Marine drop all the way in the back of this mineral line. Oh boy, the Liberator is just just... Uh, GG well played. Justice reigns from above. The GG well played. Alright. So we have the victory. It is... Euthermal.